You probably use your PC for many important jobs, but probably one of the most important jobs that you should be thinking about is backing up your data. And you can do this with the tools you have. Most PCs nowadays come with a CD writer or, or CD slash DVD writer that you can back your data up on. CDs and DVDs are very cheap now. You can buy them in most high street stores. Um, we all say we're going to back up data and then eventually the inevitable happens. Our PC breaks, it goes off for repair, it comes back all fully working but without the data on it. So we need to find out exactly what's important to us. So my documents, my pictures, my music are just some examples of the type of data that you may not want to lose. And in this tutorial we're going to use the method of backing up to CD or DVD. Now first of all we need to distinguish the size of the amount of data that we want to back up and this will tell us which one of the two medias to use. Do we use a CDR which holds 700 megabytes worth of data or have we got more than that so therefore we may need to use a DVDR which holds 4.7 gigs worth of data. So in order for us to find this out let's head over to the desktop now and we'll have a look at some data to back up and see how big it is to find out which one of these media we should use. Okay so here we are on our desktop um, and like I said before I'm using Windows 7 um, so a quick and easy way for me to find out how much data I've got um, let's have a look. Shall I? I'll go for my documents. So I'm going to back up my documents. Now, if I right click on documents and select properties, you will notice down here it says size of files in library and it's currently calculating. And there it goes. It tells me uh, that I've got 2.98 gigabytes of worth of data in that folder. So therefore, that cancels out the CD because the CD is only 700 meg and it won't all fit on there. So I already know now that I need a DVD to back up my documents folder. Now, if you don't have Windows 7, don't worry. You can still find this out by clicking on Start, go into Documents or My Documents, and then. In your documents folder, if you click left click on the first file that you have at the top and hold the left shift key down on your keyboard, keep it held down, scroll all the way down to the bottom, select your bottom file, click that once with the left mouse, mouse click. Now you can let go of the shift key if you like, and anywhere here I can right click, select properties, and again it tells me I've got 2.98 gigs worth of data. So that's a really quick and easy way to find out how much data you're about to back up. OK. So now I need to insert my blank DVD into the drive. So let's go ahead and do that now. OK, so we've just inserted our blank DVD, and there you go, Up, oh, it's already popped up the auto play. Now you may get this on your PC as well, where it pops up and says what do you want to do with this disk basically. And here I've got burn files to disk with Windows Explorer. So I could, if I wanted, just click this, and I can name my disk title, so um, by default it's got today's date. Um, maybe I could put in there docs so I know what it is um, and I get two options here and obviously I'm going to choose the one with the CD DVD player um, to burn the files to so if I click next now basically if I wanted I could just open up my documents and I could just drag and drop them individually across if I wanted or I could select the whole lot by pressing control and A and just drag and drop and there you see, as it's building up the amount of data that it, it needs to copy, um, it's discovering the amount of files it's got there. And eventually that will get up to whatever it was, 2.93 gig or, or something like that. And then we're ready to go. So basically to cut a long story short, I forwarded on a bit and here we can see that it's actually found that it's going to do 3.04 gigabytes worth of data 
and it's just going ahead straight away and burning that data to the disk and it's telling me there it's got about 17 minutes remaining so again we'll forward again okay so Windows has now prepared all the files I need to burn to my blank DVD it didn't actually end up taking 17 minutes to do that it got quicker and quicker and I guess in the end it probably took about three three or four minutes so now we can see that we've got files ready to be written to disk and there's a whole list of them there which is exactly what I wanted all I need to do now is burn to disk so I just click this button up here and it already shows me the title and there I put the extra thing in there as docs and the recording speed I've got it on maximum but it really makes no difference if you're going to go out for the day or something like that then you could put it on a slower speed it makes no difference now and today um, DVD writers are very effective even at the fastest speeds um, so I could choose to close the wizard after the files have been burned I'm not really that fussed right now I just want to go next and now it's adding data to the disk image and we'll skip this section and move on okay now Windows has finished uh, successfully burning the files to the disk um, so it's asking us now do we, do we want to create another disk using the same files um, well I don't but you could do another one if you wanted but I'm going to just say finish now what it also does is eject the actual disk as well so that's sort of uh, ejected itself from my PC so if I put it back in again I'll close this down for a minute and we'll just make sure that all the files are there it didn't give me any errors while it did it so I see no reason as to why the file shouldn't be on the disk but we'll just double check to make sure so as we can see the auto play has popped up giving us a range of options as to what we want to do now if I just scroll down to the bottom one that says open folder to view files and there you have it it shows me all the files that I currently copied over to my disk and that's about as simple as it is now if for argument's sake you don't have Windows 7 and that box doesn't pop up when you put a CD in don't worry I can show you another way that we can we can do this so I've just inserted my blank DVD and uh, it hasn't popped up on the screen to tell me what to do so in that case all I need to do is click the start button go to computer or my computer whatever operating system you're using this will show me what drives I've got and I can see uh, the blank DVD minus R that's in the drive that I've just placed in there um, so literally I can do the same again so if I go into my documents let's move that out of the way so you can see uh, if I just press control and A that will select everything in my document library and literally I can just pick it up and drop it in and there you see again it will prepare to copy the amount of data and when it's happy it will give you the option to burn the files to the disk in the same way I hope that's been of benefit to you um, and thanks for watching